Well, it didn't really seem like a 20 point game to me. It was, uh, you know, we, we knew that they would come out uh, hard at the start. They had a real good win last week and they really took it to us in the first first quarter. I think the game, as the game went on, we got better and better. We got into some rhythm and look at our defence again was outstanding. I think we kept them scoreless the last five minutes of the game. Um, you know, holding to 20 points in the second half is, uh, you know, there's a lot of hard work out there. Then once we got on a roll, it was uh, it was good to see. Yeah, in parts. I think we coughed the ball up that third quarter. I think it was about five or six possessions. It was like really easy, you know, turnovers. We didn't have a lot of turnovers of the game and we just got to iron that out to get the scoreboards. Um, when we'd done some great work on the defensive end, you know, we got to uh, capitalise on that and, and push our advantage. And I thought we, we probably coughed the ball up on soft ones. Uh, but look, we're still a, still a work in action on work in progress. Yeah, oh, fantastic. You know, that was uh, our starters kind of were a little bit sluggish at the start, I guess. And then, um, you know, Jesse came on and, and really changed to stretch the defence and made some good decisions, passed up some shots early to get better shots later on. And, and I thought uh, Drake was pretty good too and, uh, and young and Tommy. Um, DeAndre tonight, what did you make of his? Yeah, I thought he was outstanding. I think he was, you know, probably... Uh, once he shot 18, but, um, you know, he, he found his rhythm again from the three. He's starting to stroke that ball pretty well that, that um, you know, we thought he would. Um, you know, there's a couple couple there that uh, probably forced a little bit, but I was, I was pretty pleased he was picking his moments better. Um, and a rebound again, I think he's our leading rebounder nearly every week. Or well, Damo matched him and Matty was on there too, so... You know, it's a pretty solid performance, I thought, to back up after last week. Yes, ball in that last quarter, were you a bit worried there for a second? Yeah, I was. It was, uh, he went flat like a pancake straight down, so it was kind of after the whistle had gone as well, so you never want that to happen. And I was happy that, uh, I think Jesse picked him up, did he? Oh, I let him stand there for Yeah, so get his breath and... He was planking. Uh, <laughs> So I might have just winded him more than anything, but I haven't got any reports from the physio, the doctor, so that's a good sign. Jess, how did you find it out there tonight? Obviously nice to make a few contributions. Yeah, it was good. I think, um, you know, someone asked before, I think they're better than their record suggests. Um, they've got their core group and, and they're always well coached with Gordy. So um, to come out, I didn't realise it was a 24 point game either, but um, that's a good win for us. What did you like most about the way you guys played offensively after that first? I'm not sure if it was offensively, I think defensively. Um, you know, when you're not scoring the ball and you are turning the ball over, it, it helps if they're not scoring. So, you know, the ball's not always going to drop, but uh, if you can stop them from scoring, it goes a long way to winning. Jeff, do you get tempted to put Jesse straight in when Sean picks up 2,000 in the first 46 seconds? Yeah, look, it was. It was, uh, but look, Sean's played 300 odd games, so he knows how to play, you know. Um, Smart in that situation. There's there's a time and place for it. I don't think and I don't think Sean might to sit down after 50 seconds of the game and not play again in the next quarter. So look, you know, I have faith in in what he's doing and um, and to play smart out there. So that was that was okay. As far as offensively goes, first of all, were you surprised you only had eight turnovers tonight when he looked at the box? Yeah, I think we had five in a row. Did we five out of six? Yeah. It was about that. It was uh, yeah. Look, I was, but that's a really good sign. You know. That's, um, you know, we've got to, we got, certainly got to polish up uh, still a little bit with our timing and our cutting. And um, we've seen last week we did it well. We, now we've just got to keep doing it and keep feeding off it. Um, but look, if it, was, uh, if it was perfectly done, I'd be doing myself out of a job. Yeah, look, they've uh, played real well and, and uh, you know, they jumped us in the first game. So, you know, we haven't seen them for eight weeks or so. So it's going to be a real good challenge for us. It's, uh, um, you know, they're going to be there at the end of the year and, and uh, you know, it'll be a good real challenge to see we are, a mid-year challenge. Is that your best team in the league right now? In your eyes? Oh, 
To be honest, I haven't really looked at them after the first game. I haven't. I've been uh, more worried about ourselves, so I really can't gauge their uh, form. But look, they've been pretty consistent. I think they've won five or six in a row. They've had a pretty good uh, November, so we'll get locked onto them now. Yeah, oh, without a question, and, and they're playing in some pretty good form. So, you know, really going to test us out to find out where we are and how tough we are on the road and how we can execute against a better defender, uh, defensive team. Jess, do you guys enjoy that challenge against New Zealand, given the history? Yeah, I, it's it's fun going over there. I've always said that I enjoy going on the road. Give you some time away with the team, and, and it's just you guys on the road. So I'm not sure if we're playing a North Shore vector, but either one's. Yeah, I'm not sure, but uh, either one's got a pretty good atmosphere and, and they always play pretty well at home, so as Trev said, it'd be a very good challenge for us. Yeah, physical side of things, do you, do you like? Yeah, well, look, I think, you know, they've got Mika, who's, who's one of the, the best defensive players in the in the league. Uh, they've got some big bodies in there and Pledger and Ibeque as well, so, um, yeah, it's always a challenge. How closely have you watched them, Jess? Do you watch much hoops from other sides? Not really. <laughs> um, no, nah, look, I, I pay attention. Um, obviously, we're playing next, but... Um, yeah, as Trev said, we I haven't really seen them. After that first game, they, they got on us pretty good and, and gave us pretty good slack in here. Um, but since then, I haven't seen much of them. From what you recall of that first game, what, what would be the main sort of things that you guys need to, to turn around? Well, I think, you know, Jackson's a, a phenomenal player um, and they, they all play their roles pretty well. Um, as I said, McCurran is probably one of the best defensive guys and, and a rebound as well. And they've got some good support off the bench as well. And then Webster looks like he's in pretty good form too. So they've, they've got all the, the pieces. Um, it's just a matter of you know, us sticking to our guns.